Hi, all right. So this video is going to be about drawing a lion. Um, you are in Africa this week. And so we're gonna get started on our fantastic, wonderful African lion. Here are the materials you will need for this project. Uh, you have a white piece of paper and the kindergarten teachers have provided you with five pieces of smaller colored construction paper. That's gonna come into play second. That's gonna be used for the main. So we're gonna draw our um, lion's face on our white paper, color it in, and then cut it out and add our main. So you're gonna need a pencil, some kind of a black marker. I have a Sharpie, but any black marker will do. Um, a pair of scissors, a glue stick or white glue, and some crayons. And I may use my pink crayon, we'll see. I have a brown, black, and a like kind of a lighter color brown. And I also have my pink. Okay, so let's get started. Let me pull these to the side. And the first thing we're going to do is you want your paper to be vertical, so up and down. And we're gonna pick up our pencil and we're gonna draw the outline of our lion's face. We want our face to take up almost the entire piece of paper. So we're gonna start with the area in between the ears at the top of the head. And it's gonna be a very, very, very slight rainbow shape. So you're gonna start on one side, kind of go straight to the other side with a really slight rainbow shape. You are going to make two ears, one, two, that connect right onto that rainbow shape. You can also make a little in the size of your ears. Now lions do not have huge ears. They just have nice, small, kind of rounded ears. All right, so the next part is we're gonna drop down and we're gonna make almost a rectangular face, but it's gonna be a rounded rectangular face. Now what you can do is you can come all the way down to the bottom here before you draw it and make a little line right here, kind of like we do in class, like a little guideline. And the reason you're doing that is so you know, you can kind of train your eye to know that you're gonna go from the bottom of this ear all the way down, scoop around, and come right back up. So let's do that. We're gonna come down, scoop around, connect right there. And you can either start from this bottom and come right back up, or you can start from the top and come down. I think I might start from this top. Kind of come down like this, swoop around into a, so you're basically making a large, long U shape. Okay, now you can also make it a little fatter if you want. All right, so before I do my eyes, I'm gonna start with my nose. Now I wanna make sure that my nose is not too far up on my face because um, all animals have a snout that comes out. So in order to make it kind of look like it's coming out of the page, we want it to be down a little further down on the page. So if you about measure out halfway here and then come about halfway down from that, that's where we're gonna make our triangle nose. So a straight line across and two diagonal lines down to complete our triangle. Then we're going to make our lion mouth. So a little scoop and a scoop. So you basically have a J and then a backwards J. Almost looks like two little fish hooks. All right, so at the top of my nose here, I'm going to make my uh, snout coming out here. So I'm going to go a straight line up from one side of my nose, from one side of my triangle here, and a straight line up from the other side of my triangle. All right. Now to incorporate my eyes in here, I'm going to add my eyes directly onto the side here. And I'm going to have two rainbow shapes come up. So I have one right here, and then I'm gonna go back over to the other side of my nose here and make another rainbow shape that comes up like this. Actually, that looks pretty neat as well. That could be an asleep lion if you wanted to do it like that. And if I wanna make my awake lion, I'm going to have another line that's coming right here and another little upside down rainbow shape right here. And so basically you've created almost a football and you're gonna to go to the other side and do the same thing. There you go. Now we're gonna make some eyeballs in there. We want our pupils. Fantastic. Now, if you wanted to make it a girl lion, you could add some eyelashes in there. If you wanna keep it a boy lion, you don't have to. All right, and the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna outline our lion with black marker. 
So you guys can start to do that and we'll be right back. Okay, so once you've taken your black marker and you've outlined all your pencil lines, we're finished with our marker for now. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna take my pink crayon and I'm gonna color in my nose with my pink crayon. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my black crayon and I'm gonna color in my pupils with black. Go ahead and do that. There we go. And then I'm gonna take my brown crayon and I'm gonna begin to color in my face. So what I can do is I'm gonna turn my picture to the side because as we talk about in class, I'm gonna work on directional coloring. I wanna make sure that I'm coloring all in the same direction. So up and down, up and down. And the best way to achieve this is by turning your paper sideways. It's a little less um, tiring than moving your hand up and down. If you move it to the side, you can do it a little better. Now we wanna keep our eyeballs white. So I'm gonna be really careful to go around my eyeballs, very, very careful and kind of go back around there. I'm gonna color in my lion's face with brown. And I'm not gonna use it really dark. You know, if you actually want to incorporate some um, tan or peach color in there, you could do that because lions are typically kind of a yellow color, but we're gonna do it kind of a light brown. Okay. So, I'm gonna color in my lion. You guys go ahead and do that. Okay, take your time. I'm going fairly quickly, but don't forget to take your time when you do this. Okay, almost finished here. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, now that we have our lion almost completely colored in, you can take your pink crayon and color in the insides of those ears with a little bit of pink. Go back and do that. Now, for this particular project, it's actually okay. I'm gonna demonstrate real quick. Say I went outside of the lines a little bit, that's fine because we're gonna cut out our lion. Okay, so I colored in my lion, I left my eyes white and that's it for right now. Okay, um, when we come back, I am going to show you how we are going to incorporate our colored pieces of paper. But first what I'd like you to do is, um, after you finish coloring your line, I'd like you to cut it out with your scissors. We'll be right back. Okay, so now that you've cut out your lion's face, it should look like this. Put that to the side, and now we're gonna work on our five pieces of paper right here. So here's what you're gonna do, is you don't necessarily have to use the entire piece of paper, but what I'd like you to do is fairly evenly spaced, you're going to vertically. So you wanna use the long side of the paper, not the short side, this is really important. So the long side of the paper. And we're gonna be making strips of paper for our mane going around. So in order to do this, you wanna make sure that you're not doing it super tiny. So see if I started cutting right here, it'd be so, so, so tiny. If you do it like that, you're gonna have so many of them, it's gonna take you a really long time. I suggest you do it a little fatter. So maybe about, you know, maybe if you take your finger and you measure it about just to that first wrinkle on your finger, that's a little, that's pretty good. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out several pieces of your paper. And actually you could maybe go along, this might take you a little bit. So go along and on each piece of your paper, so I'll demonstrate, so a couple on your brown, and you might wanna do more than that on your brown. And then go along and on each one of your pieces of paper, I want you to cut out even strips of paper. Okay, go ahead and do that. And when we get back, we'll work on our next step. Okay, so now that you've cut out all of your strips, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these strips and cut them in half. So you're gonna measure about halfway there, cut your strips in half and do that to all of your strips. Now you may end up using all of them and you may not. So, um, all right, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your lion face over and you are going to glue all of your strips around the perimeter of your lion's face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it 
Uh, if I'm using a glue stick, you only want to do part of it at a time. If you put glue stick over the entire area of the perimeter, it's going to dry out really quickly. So you don't want to do that. So let's just do it over the, a part of it. So I'm going to do a little glue stick. Now, if you're using white glue, you can actually do it around the entire perimeter. And then I'm just going to glue the edge of it on there and I'm going to vary my colors. So I'm going to alternate my colors. So I'm going to go like one, two, three and how whatever colors you want to use is completely up to you. You do not have you do not have to uh, to do it in any sort of an idea. But what I'm going to do is actually do it in a pattern. So I started with orange. So I have orange, yellow. There we go. I have orange, yellow, tan. And I'm going to continue that pattern. The most important thing is to make sure that your glue stays wet. Okay, and so this is what it will look like from the front. It's okay if they're uneven, that doesn't really matter because we're gonna add another little touch to it in a minute. So what you're gonna do is you wanna glue them all the way around the perimeter. So for sake of time, I'm just gonna do part of it and I'm gonna show you what I would like for the end result. Okay, and I have a tan, I'm gonna go for a tan. Okay, so here is the idea. I have uh, yellow, tan, and then I need a dark brown in here, okay. Oh, I forgot about my light yellow. That's always fun. Maybe I'll incorporate part of my light yellow in a minute. I have my orange. I'm gonna take my light yellow and use that. And you're gonna do, around, again, around the entire perimeter of your lion until it ends up looking something like this. So you have the entire perimeter of your lion finished. Okay, now this is done in a different medium, but that's fine. All right, so that's what it'll look like. It'll look like that around the entire thing. All right, so after you're finished with that, your final, final touch can be you can take your pencil and what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll each one of these little lion mane hairs. You're gonna take it, you're just gonna roll it around your pencil, but just a little bit slide your pencil out and then kind of straighten it out a little bit so they have a little bit of a curl to it that adds just like a really extra kind of fun touch to your lion all right there you go and i will post on my website a picture of your complete your um, completed final project all right have fun with your african lion thank you see you next time